Alrighty, this is William from uh, PrimerPodcast.com. Um, in preparation of my POR15 bedliner material, I needed to address some issues in the back of my truck. Um, some rust. And one of my favorite products to use for, for rust is POR15. Um, been using them for years. Uh, I've had great results. POR, paint over rust. Now, the key to any good project is preparation. And POR makes a couple great products just for that. Both the cleaner degreaser and the metal prep are water-based, but it's still probably a good idea to wear some gloves. So the first thing you need to do is to knock off all that rust. You can do that with a wire wheel like I'm doing here. You can get in there with a wire brush, whatever it takes. And yeah, things got a bit nasty and a little bit worse than what I thought was there. After you get all that loose rust off, you gotta get it out of there. Um, I use shop vac brush it out, compressed air, whatever works. After that, you're gonna wanna get it clean. And that's where the cleaner degreaser comes in. Um, mix it up in a spray bottle. The manufacturer says a one-to-one -one ratio. I just kinda eyeballed it. And then start spraying. After you let that sit for a while, uh, you got to rinse it down with with water um, and then wait for it to dry then move on to the metal prep and again spray it on wait at least 30 minutes hose it down wait for it to dry one of the things to remember when using POR 15 is that it is permanent and you got to wear your gloves uh, I didn't about halfway through the job and I'll be wearing this for about a week. You also don't want to work right out of the can. Um, you want to scoop it out and put it into another container because what will happen is that without a doubt, you're going to get some paint in this rim, put the lid on and it's over. You won't be able to get, get the lid back off. Also use a cheap brush roller something you can throw away because again this is permanent um, you'll spend way too much time trying to clean it clean off a good brush it's just not worth it and then go to town um, be liberal with this stuff yeah it's expensive but it's good and it's worth it use some cardboard uh, masking tape what, whatever whatever you have or whatever you need to protect the other surfaces and paint it on clean up, walk away, let it dry. Now, as good as this stuff is, it's not really good with the UV stuff. So you're gonna need some sort of top coat. You can rattle can it. You, um, they do make a top coat, which I'll be using this uh, when I do the bed liner. In my case, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Um, I'm going to be obviously working on some of these bigger rust issues, but I really wanted to get uh, the, the rust to stop before I start um, welding in new pieces and things like that. So enjoy the product. It works great. Again, I've been using it for years and years and years. Um, check them out at absolutecoatings.com. Um, POR 15, do a Google search, easy to find. I got this, all this stuff from Amazon. Um, it's worth it for any good project. So um, thanks for watching and look forward to how I'm going to deal with that big hole in the bed.